<laughs> I haven't been out in a while. Should I save this money? Oh, God. Brain freeze. I just drank something cold. Oof, okay. We just logged in. Uh, what's my resin? Okay, my resin's capped. That's good. Ooh, Spiral Abyss reset. Spiral Abyss reset. That's interesting. Might go do that. Uh, and this crystal fly trap is finally done. I'm curious how that's. I'm curious how that works. I haven't done. This is the first time I've used this thing, so I wonder how much we're gonna get. Fifty. That's it. Bro, I can get fifteen right now. That was. That's pathetic. I'm actually so disappointed. I thought that would have a lot more. I thought they'd have at least 40. Waiting a week for 15 crystal fly. Bro. That thing is useless. I'm never using that again. What the hell? How much more do I have? Uh, 1.2 mil. Okay, that's fine. I'm definitely gonna have to farm some XPOX probably. Uh. Alright. What to do first? What to do first? What to do first? I guess let me do uh her talent shit. Okay, what do her talents use? Guide to ammunition. I can't farm that yet, so we're gonna go farm her relics. I'm thinking what I'm going to do today is I'm finally going to start this event. I haven't done it yet. Or whatever the hell it is. I'm assuming that's that penguin. So we're going to take care of that. Um. Yeah, we're just going to go do that event. I haven't, I haven't started it yet, so. But we're going to use our resin first. Like, I'm actually so disappointed by this crystal fly trap. A week for only 15. That is pathetic. So now, because she scales off HP, I can use an HP timepiece for... Candice. But I am gonna have to farm her red flower shit, which is a double is it is a win-win for farming those flower things in the desert because I can also use I can also use that for Farzan, which 
It's good because I've been meaning to build Farzan, but she's not C6, but she's a good animal support, so she's probably really good for a Hazo. Yeah. Ooh, I want to take care of this quickly, so let's use some food buffs because I want to take care of this really fast. Mother, stop giving me more cautious. It's funny how that artifact set was made specifically for Dia, and it's not even her best one. Like, Emblem is her best one. Hell, who's Emblem not good for? That's the question. That's why I hate that domain so much. You need that for fucking everybody. Mother! Okay, that could be good for child. Huh. 
Give me something good. Okay, we can try that too for for uh for child. Cause I do need some crit damage on that dude, so. Last one, give me something good. Give me something good. Motherfucker. But that was going, I might just say fuck it and give Dea the four Akasha. <laughs> like honestly. Like I know Emblem is her best, but like Jesus Christ. All right, let's try it. Let's 20 this. If it doesn't hit crit rate again, then it's kind of useless. It's kind of useless. Because I don't need attack percent for... Well, actually, no, I'm going to use her as main DPS, so maybe attack percent should be fine. Then needs to do a hybrid build for her. for a Layla or Layla for a Candice. Nah, nah. HP percent still better than attack percent. Yeah, plus I have Promoter Jade Spear. Yeah, so fuck it, yeah. Fuck it. That one is not good by any means. God, this is... Oh my god, this is so... The only reason why this is somewhat better is because it has crit damage. Holy shit. Let's try this one first. A fucking Thanos piece. What's this time piece like right now? Yeah, this is not... Yeah, no, yeah, no. It's already not better. Okay. Where it is? There it is. I'll just get rid of this then. Actually, no, wait, wait, wait. Let's get, let's get some emblem pieces first. And I'll them... Actually, no, no. Very destined for sucrose. Because I have nothing on my sucrose right now, and I kind of need some shit on her. Following me. 
HP. Yep, we got that. All right, double crit with energy recharge. Come on. Okay. That actually worked. Yeah, so much, it's, it's already, substat wise, it's already better than this one. But crit value wise, it's not as good. Uh, is there anything you can just throw in there for fuck's sakes? Like, substat wise is already so much better. So, honestly, I think I'm just going to switch it. I am going to switch it right now. Crit value wise is not as good, but substat wise is so much better. I wonder if you build different realms, can you farm the realm currency from all of them? Is that the, if that's the thing, I'll actually build the other realms. Well, I just stopped at this because I didn't need to. If you ever have any. I kind of need that to land on I've got a crit tongue? the next. I, I need it to land on like crit this. the next one. If so, hopefully it does. Maybe that's their problem. Yeah. Oh, I can't switch it? That's annoying, because I'm in the fucking teapot. Alright. We did our farming. We have completed our farming. We're going to do the event now. If my game can load. Should I do another wish? Fuck it. I really shouldn't wish on this weapon banner because I have Primordial Jade Spear for Candace, for specifically for DPS Candace. So it's kind of a waste. I probably shouldn't. <laughs> I probably shouldn't. Uh, oh, this reset, which is good. In that case. Oh, I already have shit ton of those. Alright, never mind. I don't need any of those. Oh, the fishing? God damn it. Alright. Let's -a go. Uh need to get the Let's just teleport here. Uh, 
Uh, let me use my... Let me use my speedster team here. Uh, is there anyone else that's fast here? Yalon. No. Alright. Alright, let's go to Nahida. Are you sure it has to be me? Alright, Team Taxi. <sighs> Fine. Let's get this over with. Sorry, man. I get distracted. I see a chest. I have to get it. Like those things. I'm gonna get those things next. Where? 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 Oh. <laughs> Wrong button. Perfect, perfect exploration team. Perfect exploration team. Ah, oh, there you go. My magnificent. There you go. There you go. All right, let's begin. It can't be right. Oh, but what if they're real after all? No, that can't be. But what if there's a chance? Well, hello, NPC number 4302. The representative of the Fontaine Fishing Association. How can I help you? Yeah, how do we just collect fish without having to fish, please? I, I, I can't fish for the to save my life. I hate fishing in this game. Oh, so you're adventurers. Oh, finally, someone has heard my prayers. Paimon can tell you were really bothered by something. Don't worry, you've got two super experienced adventurers right here. We'll take care of anything and everything for you as long as you pay us a little bit of mora. Yeah, so basically we haven't answered your prayers. We just come and be like, hey, give us a job. <laughs> if we answered our prayers, we wouldn't be doing this for money. Oh, you are exactly the helpers I need. See, the problem is that the fish around a fishing spot at Arrhenius have just all up and vanished recently. They disappeared too quickly for it to have been the work of human anglers. As the representative of the fishing association, I had planned to go and investigate the area right away. But... <clears throat> right, but unfortunately, as the representative of the Fishing Association, there are a few other errands that I absolutely have to run, so... So, you'd like us to investigate the spot for you? Exactly, you're right, Anamora. So, I thought I could delegate this work to you. Are you two some kind of prophets, knowing exactly what I was going to say like that? Or maybe like the oracles you read about in fairy tales. No, we're not gods. Calm down. Yeah, we're just really experienced in 
this kind We're of just best stuff. friends with like three of them. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad to hear it. I'll get a good night's sleep knowing and a dragon. you were on the case. But don't we just need to investigate the missing fish? It really doesn't sound too difficult. No, you mustn't let your guard down. As the representative of the Fishing Association, I have good reason to believe that the fish have gone missing due to an encounter with the water imps. The water imps? Since when was this? A, we have water imps now? What the fuck are water imps? Yes, you're both outlanders, right? Our local fairy tales often speak of a terrifying underwater creature called Thelxy. The story our parents would tell us was always the same. If we went to the water alone, then we'd be snatched away and eaten by a water imp called Thelxy. So basically the boogeyman for Fontaine. A child eating water imp? Did they tell you what it looked like? My father would always describe it as a beautiful, multicolored snake woman. Hey, yo. And my mother said it had a handsome face. It's Pause. It's really strange, though, because you'd also hear other people describe it as just a chubby penguin with a deceptive appearance. Even though the tales vary regarding its appearance, everyone agrees that it's really dangerous. It lives in an underwater cave surrounded by pallid bones and uses its sensitive nose to track down lonely children who've lost their way. And Whoa. as it finds a child, it uses its alluring singing voice to lure them into the water before swallowing them all. Pretty terrifying, isn't it? Out of context, that's a very sus sentence right there. Like, out of context, that is a very, very, very fucked up phrase. Or word wording right there. <laughs> that's a that's an AO moment right there. Uh sounds kinda scary. But isn't that pretty normal for a fairy tale? After all, those kinds of stories are usually made up to help keep children away from danger. Aren't fairy tales supposed to be nice and dreamlike and very alluring? That sounds like a fucking nightmare. But what if the fairy tale was inspired by a real life tale? Just like how a water vein always has a source. Do you have any concrete evidence? Well, I wouldn't call it evidence per se, but I've heard some rumors lately. They say that someone recently saw a child walk into the water as if he was possessed by something. Doesn't that sound just like he was responding to the call of a water imp? So you mean someone really got eaten by a water imp? It's all hearsay, so it's hard to confirm. But still, they all say this happened on Irenaeus. That's no laughing matter if you ask me. Both the Opera House and the Fountain of Lucene were built there, and the sources of many water veins can be traced to the island as well. Combine that with the mysterious mist, the huge tree with expansive underground roots, and the rumor that the bishops on the island can understand human language... Is it really so shocking that an island so shrouded in mystery could harbor a terrifying water imp as well? Oh, uh, why does Paimon feel like you're pulling our leg? You're just piling on the rumors now. Oh, still, if someone's really been hurt, then we can't just ignore the situation, right, Traveler? Mmm. I mean, it's not nation level disaster threatening so i would probably ignore it but sure oh, marvelous then i'll just mark the stretch of water on your map don't forget that no matter what safety always comes first sure thing water imps conjecture i'm real this water doesn't sound that scary ah, hell it doesn't even sound real it's probably just it's, it's probably like um like a Loch Ness monster type of situation where people like they see something and they just believe it to be this this, this monstrous thing and they ever tell everybody to stay away from it when it's not actually real. Anyways, we have a luxurious chest here, and I'm gonna I'm gonna do this chest before we go because I want this luxury because I'm gonna forget about it if I don't do it. Mother, get back here. How the fuck? 
Oh, 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 okay, I get it now. I get it now. Take it easy. Sure. One way to draw your Yay. See, characters like Fran and Wander, they just break the exploration of this game. They really do. They legitimately just break the exploration of this game. Ah. Uh, okay. Ah, okay, 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 okay. Can you fucking... Okay, I ran out. That's why. I don't know. This is starting to get annoying, but I kind of I have an idea now. Oh, thank you. Truly an extra slice of joy. Well, this is by far the worst team for this. <laughs> Come on, Wander. There you go. There we go. Luxurious chest. Oh, there's some hydro crystal flies in there. That's a first. Quit following me. Okay. We did our thing. Let's go. Where's the Oh, over here. Huh? Look, there's some footprints over 
Pimples extend all the way into the water. Look pretty fresh. Oh, did the water imp get someone again? Let's look around and see if we can find anything else. I highly doubt this water imp is real. Or if it is real, it's nothing like the people describe Ooh, it to be. Wait, did you hear something just now? Gurgling noises can be heard from the water. Yeah, it's just emerged with a loud splash. Oh yeah, it's just from an A. Oh, stop being a baby. Traveler? Uh, I'm sorry. I forgot I was still wearing this. That, that's the first I've actually seen him use his helmet in a cutscene. Every other cutscene, he doesn't have it on. So that's kind of weird in continuity's, uh, like continuity wise, it makes no sense, but whatever. Paimon, are you okay? Like, he didn't even use it when he was swimming in the primordial sea. So, like, what the fuck? Huh? A water imp? Thelxie, you say? How surprising. Bro, all you need to do is dye your hair black and you look like, and you look like you'd be the front singer for My Chemical Romance. Huh? You know that name, too? Or do you know someone else who's trying to investigate the water imp? No. I think our situations are probably unrelated. Can you tell us what's going on with you? Sure, if that's an order. An order? What the fuck? <laughs> Bro, I'm your friend, not your father. I know the name because of one of my employers. She noticed the clockwork penguins I brought to the workshop and contacted me through the shop's owner. She has commissioned me to make a special toy. Following her request, I've named the toy Thelxy. Huh? But isn't it a little creepy to name a toy after a water imp? Uh, wait, hold on! Remina, you never take commissions from other people! Yeah, but, uh... She made a special request. But out of respect for her privacy... I can't really talk about it. It's alright, though. She'll be coming over to check on my progress shortly, and I'll just tell her that you're two of my trustworthy companions. Hearing that, she might be willing to share some information, and you'll be able to continue with your investigation. Huh. Even though you seem a little cold and reserved sometimes, you're still really considerate. Our target isn't necessarily the water imp, though. We're primarily here to investigate the disappearance of the fish. The fish? Oh, I can. <laughs> I, thought that, I thought that would go automatically. Okay, that's why I didn't bother reading it. Okay, Remini nods slightly and seems lost in thought after you tell him about the commission from the fishing association. Suddenly, his breath catches his throat. Ah, uh, I think I may have connected the dots. These past few weeks, I've been taking Thelxy for underwater testing every day. The pressure testing makes a lot of noise. So, all that about the disappearing fish. Well, it was probably because of me. Well, at least you're honest. So that's all it was? That actually makes a lot of sense. Wait, so could that mean the child we heard about who walked into the water was also... Just Friday preparing for another day of yes, work. I think that's quite likely as well. See, what did I tell you? Just a fairy tale being all con conjectures and stupidity. Sounds like I've created a lot of trouble for everyone else as well. I'll try to finish this commission as soon as possible. Once I'm done, the fish should come back. Don't worry, it's just a misunderstanding. Yeah, we'd be happy to help. No, we would not be. <laughs> Thank you. Actually, how much work do you still have left, Remini? Maybe we could lend you a hand. God damn it, Paimon. Uh, thanks for offering. But I can't trouble you any more than I already have. Yeah, you're totally right. So let's go be on our way. Hey, it's no trouble at all. Didn't you just call us your trustworthy companions? Companions are all about helping each other, you know? Paimon? 
I wish you could stop talking for me. But don't you need to report back to your commissioner? Nope, that's not how it works. See, Paimon's got these commissioner types all figured out, even though we were just tasked with finding out why the fish had gone missing. If we tell them now that it was all just a misunderstanding, you can bet they'd just immediately hand us another commission to help them get the fish back. Exactly! So if we can help you finish up your work and get the fish back, that would save us an extra trip! Um... Is that what you'd like to do as well? Uh, well, me, no, but Lumian, I guess, thinks otherwise. Huh. Alright, I'll trust your judgment. Please, follow me. I've made a makeshift camp over there. I've stored Thelxi in the tent. He can respond to some simple verbal commands. You can try calling his name and see if he'll come over. Whoa, sounds pretty advanced. Let Paimon give it a try. Hey, Thelxi, uh, are you there? version of Thelxi. It's also penguin shaped just like Pear. Yep. Had Thelxi Who's lived Pear? in Penguin Town, he'd probably have become great friends with Pear. Who the fuck is Pear? Oh, is that the penguin he like throws around when he's using his attack? Okay. <laughs> uh, it's not really anywhere famous or important. Don't worry about it. Hey Thelxi, nice to meet you. Do you know how to say hello? Yeah, I'll take that as a no. I wanted to install a language output module, but due to time constraints, I had to give up on the idea. As it stands, Thelxi can only output messages that were pre-written into its motherboard. I haven't given him the ability to convert those messages into discernible words, so he can't really talk to us just yet. So basically, you want us to help you complete and install this language module, right? I'm on how, how stupid are you? He literally just said, oh, he has no language module, so he can only say what's written in his motherboard. What was so difficult about that? <laughs> like, <laughs> uh, No, there's no need. That wasn't one of my employer's requests. It was just something I wanted to try. I have two other things I'd like your help with. The first is to do some integration testing on Thelxi's motherboard to make sure he will be able to function properly in most situations. That doesn't sound too hard. And what's the other thing? The other shouldn't take too long either. You'll need to find Thelxi some colorful shells and coral so I can craft a weapon for him. A weapon? Will Thelxi have to fight? Mm hmm Thelxi Ooh. will need to be able to charge forward with a weapon in hand. Like that brave prince of legend. It's a part of my You know it'd be really quest. interesting, Genshin. It would be really interesting if we could get like one of those like permanent pets and they actually like fight with you. Nothing complicated, they just do coordinated attacks. But that'd be really fucking cool. That'd be really interesting. Oh hey man, how you doing? What how you doing this fine day? Player? After a water imp, but wanting him to look like a prince? Well, regardless of his role or species, Thelxi's purpose is the same. Just like Pear, he has come to this world to serve as somebody's companion. Whoa, Thelxi just said something again! Could he understand what we were just talking about? He can react to certain key words, but unfortunately, due to the lack of a translation module, he still can't quite communicate with us. That's a pity. But anyway, the most important thing right now is for us to get to work. Maybe let's start by 
like doing some testing on the motherboard. That sounds like something we can do here in the camp. Sounds good. The motherboard is on my workbench, so please follow me. Wait, the motherboard's under it's not in him? It's in the mother it's on the workbench? What the hell? How's he functioning without the motherboard? <laughs> ah, here we go. I have this testing manual, so feel free to reference it if you get stuck. Want to give it a try? It's okay if you don't succeed immediately. I've got a lot of backup boards just in case. Oh yeah, no pressure. If I fuck up, no I'll fry your motherboard. I'm sure you'll be able to figure it out. Uh, ER Sands, 19 EM. 15.5 crit damage is good. 14% HP, not bad. And 10.5% crit rate. That's pretty good. Is that on set? Like emblem? Because that if that is, that's pretty fucking good. Okay. After pressing the joystick, pressing use the left joystick to assemble the circuit. After pressing use delete. And why to begin the operation? Circuit cannot connect. Okay. 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 Relax. <sighs> You're doing well. Just as I expected. Feather. On a lot of similar tasks before, you know. Your feather was 10.9 crit rate and 19% crit damage with 37 EM. That's pretty good. That's pretty, those are pretty good. Then let's move on to the underwater part. It's just as I mentioned earlier. We're after colorful shells and coral. Your feather is about a 40% cr uh, crit value, which is really good. And then your ER on set. And it's about 35 crit values. Yeah, that's, those are both pretty fucking good. Oh. Speaking of which, you're both already pretty used to Fontaine's underwater environment, right? Oh, uh, yeah. Are you forgetting that we basically saved the whole nation from drowning? We're good. Okay, that's good. Just let me know if you ever feel uncomfortable. I'll make sure to stay right by your side. Everybody, I, you know who you're talking to, bro? I, bro, I am a besties with the Hydra Dragon, bro. Like, we, we good. Don't worry. Like... Me and Nivellet are joined to the hip. We we're we're good. Bro, I'm just gassing myself up so much right now. <laughs> I don't know why in my mind the tra the traveler has such a f has such an annoying ego. be able to find something that'll help us with our search. This is it. We call this thing an echoing conch. It can detect special reflection waves in the water to help us with all kinds of underwater exploration and excavation efforts. Here, try it. Did you notice any interesting places? The echoing conch should have detected some just now. Let's go check them out. God, isn't thing like the magic conch from SpongeBob? 
They just, like, you just use it and shit just shows up. Scribe cell. Okay, I think we're gonna find a bunch of random shit right now. These should be enough. Let's head back to camp. Uh, thank you for staying out here with me all this time. Now we gotta swim. I was hoping we could teleport, we gotta swim. This person, Zuria Destry. Who is this lady? NPC number one thousand three hundred two. And she's out here humming. Ah, uh, Fremine, you're back. I thought you might have been out diving. I'm sorry, Madame Destry. I must have kept you waiting. I can report, though, that the construction of Thelxi is going quite smoothly. There's no rush. I'm your employer, not your supervisor. And these two are... Oh, uh, they're two of my trustworthy companions. They're here to help me work on Thelxi. Yes, I see. I suppose it's only natural for someone responsible like you to have some reliable friends. It's really nice to meet you, Madame Destre. Are you Fremenay's employer? Paimon is Paimon, and this is the Traveler. Greetings. She lit uh, Paimon. She literally Paimon. just said that he she's his employer. So adorable. The sight of you reminds me of little fairies under a cottage. No spoilers, roof. please. Oh, do you really think so? I've heard this. I've heard this event is sad, but I don't want any spoilers. I want to experience the sadness for myself. Do I look like him? No. Of course. If my child had friends like you, then perhaps he wouldn't have become so obsessed with the tales of water imps. And I wouldn't have had to trouble Fremine here with this commission. Obsessed with the tales of water imps? Are we going on a rescue oh, mission for your so child? You don't know anything about my request yet? I would have thought Fremine had explained it to you already. Well, Fremini told us that it was a private matter, so he didn't want to just share it willy-nilly. I see. So Monsieur Fremine is even more discreet than I had thought. Hmm. As you are assisting him with the project, I believe it'll be beneficial for you to learn more about its vision and history. But it would be quite impolite of me to simply pile all of my troubles on you without your permission. So... Would you like to listen to my story? Those are some sure. pretty good stats. Anything. You've already said nice things about us, so we'll try our best to help you get through your troubles. The crit rate, yeah, I, I know you said about the crit rate. The crit rate, you can probably, oh, okay, um... Mary. Then let me think of a way to put my situation into words. Crit, hmm. uh... I'm sure you're already familiar crit rate with for, the um, water imps, right? Uh, I lost my train of thought. Right, Raiden. Crit rate is kind of hard to build on Raiden because you want energy recharge more than crit than more than like crit, honestly. Because better energy recharge is just a lot more valuable. So having low crit rate on, on Raiden Shogun is normal. If you really want to like up the crit rate, then catch is perfect. Like you're gonna use the catch anyway, so and the catch at R5 or like what? It's like over 20% crit rate. So yeah, this is fine. Your, your crit rate is fine. Don't worry about it. Simply put, parents came up with a story, painting water imps as scary abductors in an effort to convince their children to stay away from the water. My child is rather special, however, 
While most other children are terrified of Felsi, he's infatuated with him. In infatuated? Infatuated? With the water imp? What a brave soul. Yes. He told me that he thought the water imp might have just been misunderstood. In his mind, instead of singing to abduct children, the water imp actually sang out of a longing for companionship. As a result, he often goes near the water in secret. No, no, no. Your ER is not low. I'm just saying your ER is, ER is more important. For Raiden, ER is, I would say, is a little bit more important than than the crit right your ER is, your ER is fine because with the catch is i'm assuming you're gonna hit over 200 crit uh, energy recharge when you when you put the catch on her which is more than enough um so yeah i'm saying your er is not low it's not low huh so he wanted to become friends with the water imp so it wouldn't be lonely any longer what a unique way of thinking <laughs> thank you little paimon he indeed has always stood out from the crowd. He was actually diagnosed with loneliness syndrome when he was only eight years old. A loneliness syndrome? What the hell? Is that another word for being a weeb? <laughs> it's a type of mental disorder. Those affected by it often feel extremely lonely and lose interest in many mundane activities. The syndrome is probably what made him so determined to become friends with the water imp. That just, that just sounds like depression. <laughs> like, what the fuck? <laughs> Loneliness syndrome? That's a weird way of saying depression. Oh, no. Is it a very serious disorder? Paimon, what do you think? If you were to become afflicted with the disorder, Paimon, you would only be able to say less than a fraction of the words you're saying to the Traveler now. No! Paimon won't accept that! We would have to find a doctor to help cure Paimon! Paimon has a 2,000 word quota for daily conversations with the Traveler and she won't settle for a single word less! 2,000... Huh? I beg your pardon? 2,000 word quota? What the fuck? Wait, based on, based on that description of loneliness syndrome, does that mean I have loneliness syndrome? Because I don't fucking talk. <laughs> like, at all. Paimon does all the talking for me. Does that mean I have loneliness syndrome? The family doctor has already begun to treat my son, but since the disorder is rare, there aren't many good regimens for treatment. He's also developed some new symptoms lately, such as uncontrollable delusions. Huh? Uncontrollable what now? Uncontrollable delusions. To put it simply, he can no longer differentiate between fantasy and reality. And spends all his time in his fantasy world. I'm be real. The more you talk about this, the more I'm thinking, wow, you're just describing a fucking weeb. You're just describing something that needs to go outside and touch the grass. Then, then what is he seeing in his fantasy world? It's a dream that he often mentioned to me when he was younger. I've compiled what I could understand of his recent rambling. It goes a bit like this. Let me guess. He gets hit by a truck, he wakes up in another world, he's overpowered, and he has a harem of women that want all want him. <laughs> Once upon a time, there was a splendid and magnificent underwater kingdom of water imps on the Celestia Plain, 500 feet beneath the surface. Countless lovely water imps lived in houses made of rainbow shells and corals, tending to sea animals during the day and singing between fields of golden uh, tidal, tidal, tidal gall, whatever the fuck that is, during the night. Everyone led carefree and blessed lives until the day of the iridescence parade, day of the, iridescence parade uh, the important festival during which the new king would be crowned. Before the festival, all water imps would select and the most precious pearl the, uh, the would select the most precious pearl they owned, wrap it in golden branches and leaves, and offer it to their most beloved prince. And during the day of the parade, the prince would cross the rainbow bridge made from all the offered shells and offer and accept the crown from his father amid the applause of his subjects. Finally, the new king would be blessed, would bless everyone with his well wishes. And as for the prince's name, it's none other than Thelxi. Amazing! Mm. Your son came up with all of this? He really crafted a lovely fairy tale world for <laughs> I described your fantasy. <laughs> Bro. A beautiful dream. 
I feel like that's a lot of, I guess the fantasy of a lot of people who watch anime. <laughs> but perhaps no beautiful dream can ever last long. You see, the story ended with a twist. The day of the iridescence parade came as expected, but countless monsters also arrived alongside the prince. Monsters were evil and cruel, and they struck fear into all of the water imps' hearts. The water imps, adept at singing as they were, could not defend themselves against the monsters, so the kingdom fell, the king was killed, and the water imps were locked behind bars. The rainbow bridge lost its color and crumbled away. God damn! That went 0 to 100 real quick. The prince was barely able to escape with the help of a mysterious masked individual, but he had already lost everything and could only spend his days singing mournful songs. And as the, and just as the prince sang out of loneliness, Silk. Oh, sorry. And just as the sing, and just as the prince sang out of loneliness, so could his song only be heard by similarly lonely children. How could the story end like this? Is that kind of fantasizing what caused your son to develop his loneliness syndrome? Well, it'd be more accurate to say that it was the syndrome that caused such terrible delusions to manifest. But in any case, the biggest problem is the patient eventually loses themselves to the fantasy world of their own creation. Okay. My poor child can no longer differentiate between imagination and reality. He's begun to see himself as Thelxi. Oh god, he's role-playing? Oh, that's... Uh, it's too late for him now. He's role-playing now? Oh, it's way too late. Um, perhaps in his mind, the loneliness he felt became the same as that of a prince who lost everything he ever loved or stood for. Yo, you know that anime, um... Chinibio? I forgot the whole Japanese name. Chinibio, bro. That girl with the fucking eye patch who who like thinks she's like a fucking badass anime warrior. That's him right now. That's him. <laughs> what? So that's what you meant by uncontrollable delusions. Then we have to help him snap out of it. Alas, most of the time he acts as if he can no longer sense or interact with the real world at all. I've had several discussions with the doctor, and we think. It is best to try to guide his fantasy. Bro, if I if I ever had this loneliness syndrome, you know what my cure would be? My cure would be a good backhand for my mom. My mom would be like, stop being a fucking idiot and get back into reality. And that's what would wake me up from this loneliness syndrome. A good a good old backhand for my mom. He once wanted to make a picture book of his imaginary world. But since the disorder progressed too quickly, he never quite got past the first page of the book. If we could use this book as a breakthrough for his condition. Here, you can take a look. Ah, so Zuri's son also saw Thelxi as a penguin. Oh, he looks so sad. What we should do now is help him complete this picture book. However, we'll lead the story to a different ending. One where the water imprint is eventually able to restore his kingdom with the help of his friends. Okay. Plot twist. P plot twist prediction right now. Don't confirm or deny it. Don't confirm or deny it. But, plot twist prediction. Zuria herself has loneliness syndrome and she's imagining Thelxi as her son. Plot twist. Plot twist prediction. Don't confirm or deny it. But that, I'm, I'm calling it right now. I'm calling it. We'll need to chase away his loneliness and sorrow and let him perceive a world because it's very him. odd it's very That's odd I mean that his we're talking so much about the sun that we haven't even seen yet but if we just need to finish the picture book why does Remine need to make a thelxy as well because we need to treat the book story seriously as if it's a history of things that have really happened we'll need to go on a journey like thelxy and help him regain his crown and country but my child can no longer go on a journey of his own. This is why I commissioned Fremenay here to craft a Thelxi, and then I'll paint the journey with this Thelxi into the picture book. Ah, like a stand-in for your son! Paimon's starting to get it now! Oh, you really put a lot of thought into this, Zuria. Um, Paimon still has one question, though. Where will we be able to find a Water Imp Kingdom? There are some ruins on the seabed of the Salacia Plains. 
I've already asked Fremenet to research them for me. We'll be able to use one of the ruins as the kingdom. Oh, so we'll just need to act out a performance of, uh... Oh, a brave journey through the kingdom of water imps. As long as we chase away the monsters in the ruins, it'll count as chasing away the monsters in the water imp kingdom, right? Sadly, no. We won't just be putting on a performance. It's just as Zuria said. We need to take this seriously. And the only way we can take this seriously is if we choose to believe everything that's happening is real. Oh, God. Uh, so we'll so we got a role play, play too? Or, oh, God. Uh, making it a fully immersive experience? Oh, neither of those really sound right. Uh, well, either way, we'll still be able to help, right? Sure, it's we got right. it. There's no need to get that serious. It's not a big deal. I believe in my son. We can just see this. Uh, did you like it? To stay asleep for a bit longer. Did you like this quest or not? So enamored with his dream. Zuria. Keep your spirits up, everyone. If we were to look troubled, my son is sure to become anxious as well. Hmm. I should be heading back right about now to check on my son. Why have we not met the sun yet? That's why I'm like, that's why I'm very like, okay, maybe the sun doesn't exist. Or maybe he died, I don't know. Feel free to come find me if anything urgent comes up. Understood. There's also one last thing. Since these two friends were able to help me out, I've made some more progress on Thelxi. I estimate that he should be ready sometime tomorrow. That's great news. I must thank you all. Hmm. With that in mind, how about we meet here in two days' time to head to the Kingdom of Water Imps? Previous event had better... In four, meaning 4.1? Alright, everyone. Let's meet again in another two days. Zuria sure is a brave and optimistic lady. Fremine, do you think her plan will work out? Uh, let's discuss that over by the tent. There were a few things that I didn't bring up because the madame was here. No. Oh, enlighten us, Fremine. Because, I'm telling you, I'm saying it right now. I We need to meet the sun. Because I don't think the sun is real or, she, or her son died. One of the two. What did you want to say? <clears throat> um, if you don't mind me asking, I would like the two of you to mentally prepare yourselves. Oh, mentally prepare ourselves for what? <sighs> this is the first time that you've met anyone with the syndrome, right? I know you two are both really strong and will do everything you can to help the child. But with the syndrome being the way it is, if things don't... So have you met... Have you met the Sun Fremine? If things don't quite turn out as we wish, I hope you'll be able to accept the outcome and not put too much blame on yourselves. Oh. Oh, okay. I know he's talking, he's talking about the whole, um, you know, rope situation. Up all of a sudden. Didn't we just promise Zuria that we'll be optimistic about everything working out? It's not that I'm not optimistic. It's just. You know this illness very well. Ah, so that's why you looked like you knew exactly what she was talking about. Wait, Fremine, don't tell Paimon that you also. Yeah, that would make sense. That explains why he's so emo. No, no. Please don't misunderstand. Oh, you've never had it? Oh, okay. I've never had it. I've just... I've just seen many cases of it at the House of the Hearth, back when we lived under the previous director. Bro, have discipline. You're building for Raiden. Don't waste it on Ayaka. Just wait for Raiden. They say there are many factors surrounding the development of this illness. I've heard everything from hereditary factors and one state of mind to environmental factors and even ley line disorder effects. 
Some even say it could be caused by contamination from god remains. Okay. And from the cases I've seen, there weren't many positive outcomes. In the worst cases, the patient could even... pass away. What? It can get that serious? The near pylon thought they'd just stop talking as much. <sighs> Yeah, that's just the nature of it. So, if you'll find it difficult to cope with the worst-case scenario, I would prefer that you back out right now. I don't want you to help only to feel like you failed. Don't worry. Uh, we've seen a lot of- we've seen a lot of shit, don't worry. Yeah, that's right. Paimon's seen all of those things, too. No matter how hard it might get, we won't be scared. Now, Paimon, I feel like you're gonna want to be scared. Really? Then in that case, let's see this real-life fantasy adventure together to the end. Yeah! Uh, but Paimon has a question. If this illness can really be as bad as you've described, then do you really think Zuria's method will be able to help? Yeah, exactly. And you're almost there. If the dreams I had were true, then Raiden... Ryan's right around the corner. Like, don't waste it all. Don't waste all the effort and the, for pulling for Ayaka, and then you have to build her as well. Like, just, just wait for Ryan. After all, we'll just be using a toy as Delcy and some ruins as the Kingdom of Waterimps. The whole adventure will only be turned into a picture book for her son to read. Well, I think it should be able to do something. To harbor a fantasy means that the child wants to save himself somehow. The only reason he's allowed his dream kingdom to fall is because he's lost control of his heart. But if we can help him regain control and escape from the darkness, we'll be able to change his world. Like helping someone who's lost their voice be able to speak again. Oh, that burned out from that domain a long time ago. That's why I refused to step foot in that domain. I was so happy when it hit the strong box. I was like, I'm never stepping foot in that. I used that domain to build like seven characters. Like I, I refuse to step foot in that domain ever again. <laughs> like, oh God. Oh, Man, if you have burnout, you should stop playing. Real, honestly, just stop playing. Like, right? if you have burnout, literally, just stop playing for like a week or two. Or it's not gonna kill you. Just stop playing. Hmm. Well, maybe because I have also had many of my own dreams in the past. I even had my own fairy tale world, much like that boy's. I was able to draw a lot of support from it. So I believe in the power of fantasy worlds. So the penguin time you mentioned was. <sighs> So you remembered. What Penguin Town? Why does a Paimon remember? Is that also a fairy tale world? Don't leave Paimon in the dark! I actually don't remember either. What is this Penguin Town? Hey, why did you put that on? <clears throat> it's just one of my personal quirks. Please pay it no mind. Anyway, Penguin Town is a peaceful place with lots of penguin residents. They're all really good at making clockwork toys. And Pear is the town's triumphant hero, as well as the one who quietly protects the whole place. Uh, you jump from AR-45 to AR-50? Bro, um, AR-50 to AR-60 is the biggest grind of her entire life. I'm AR-59. I've been AR-59 for like six months ar i don't know why you need ar 57 to like 60 is like 300k xp wait probably even more than that you need so much xp from 57 to 60 it's insane like the real grind is getting from ar 59 to ar 60 like that is oh my god I often think that Pear only came to me because he realized how much I needed him. 
So it's not so much that I made Pear, as Pear chose me as his friend. Uh, Femine, are you sure you're not losing control of your fantasies as well? <laughs> Damn, Paimon. No, I don't think so. I can still differentiate between fantasy and reality. I just believe that the fairy tale world of my dreams must also exist somewhere. It might just be hidden, which is why it's difficult to see. Or it will only reveal itself at very specific times. Specific times? Like when you put on your diving helmet? Yeah. That's the general idea of it. Really? I just said that because you put on your helmet. <laughs> Hermione, uh, sh <laughs> I, th I think you may have a very minor case of loneliness syndrome. Have you ever observed the surface world from underwater? It's as if you're viewing a whole different world from the outside. It's a very surreal feeling. Both alienating, but also as if you're being protected by something. Yeah, because like, here's the thing. All those fates that you saved with, a, with um... Yeah, think about that. Like with all the fates and save you save, with uh, all the primos that you can get, you can probably get C one. Well, maybe. Don't forget, you could also fail the fifty fifty and get somebody else. I have a similar feeling when I put on my diving helmet. In those moments, it's possible to see some truly wondrous things, as if a fairy tale has become reality. It's almost like a sort of miracle. Really? Like a miracle? <laughs> Can I put on your helmet too now? Well, if that's in order. Yeah, that's in order. Hey, now's not the time! Remedy still has Celsius' weapon to make. We don't want to bother him now. Right. I still have to collect some tools I'll need to What's with this guy in orders? Jesus Christ. I've got to finish everything before tomorrow. Thank you for reminding me, Paimon. I'm sure there'll be other opportunities for you to try my helmet. What's with this guy in orders? He's like, is that an order? Is that an order? Is that an order? Like, bro, chill out. We're not ordering you around. Like, if you need help, is your father stepping on you? Like, what is going on? Thanks for all of your help. I'll be off for now. Let's meet up here again in two days. Mono buffs everybody. Her her burst is just a massive buff in general. Jean doesn't buff. Jean is just a really good healer. That's why, like, if you get Jean... Or Jean doesn't buff until she has a few constellations. I don't remember which one, but... She doesn't buff until she gets a few constellations. But if you have C0 or C1 or C2, she doesn't buff. It's just massive heals. That's why Jean is, um... Jean is only good if you don't have Kokomi and like, and like, and another like decent healer, right? Jean is good in that sense, but if you're to lose a 50-50, Mona is good, Tainari is good if you don't have Alhatham, which I'm gonna assume that you don't, uh, which is fine, I think it's fine. But if you don't have Alhatham, Tainari is really good, um, and honestly, this might be a hot take. Honestly, Kaching. Pretty fucking good too. With Dendro, Kaching is pretty fucking good. Alright, so that was part one. Whoa! What is this? Is this a dream? Whoa, hold up, man. Wait a second. Oh, okay, that's just the event. <laughs> I was like. I was like, are we about to watch a cutscene? Like, what's going on? Okay, so that's just the event. Fuck's the clock. Wait until two days later. Why 
why did you use Tynari Kachin? Because they're pretty fucking good. Like, Tynari is pretty fucking good. Kaching with Dendro is good. Kaching is only good with Dendro. So that's why, like, if you don't have... Well, you have... You'll, well, I assume you have Call It. And then, um... If you, if you have Yao Yao, like, Kaching with Dendro is pretty fucking good. Um, and Tainari? Tainari is a really good Dendro DPS. Like, don't sleep on Tainari. Here, I just don't use him because I have Alhatham, and Alhatham is just better than Tainari. That's the only reason why I don't use Tainari. But Tainari is really, like, don't sleep on Tainari. He's pretty fucking good, too. That's why I like... It, that's why I was saying, like, it's good to diversify who you can use because it just makes the game more fun right i build all these characters so that i can just do random teams and have fun in the spiral abyss that's basically it right like that spiral of like that spiral abyss challenge with like four stars that, that i did like two days ago that was really fun like i might actually do that again with like different four stars or like even more limitations like it's really like i, I really i genuinely believe in build as like many characters as you can obviously build the ones you like first and then once you hit that wall of okay you have everyone you like you have good teams already now you just start building other characters other random characters right that's why that's why i had that random um that random um euphoric moment i was like oh okay let's just build candace because why not <laughs> right let's just build candace because why the fuck not is your child feeling any better Thank you for your concern, Fremine. His condition is fairly stable. The family doctor said we might be able to take him out for a stroll today. I prefer Tartag over Nuvulet. Let me cook. Let me let me explain. Nuvulet is 100% stronger than Tartag. I'm not doubting that in any way, shape, or form. But he is boring as hell. All he does is sit there and spray liquid and you just do a circle and everything dies. He's the exact same... He, He's so boring. He's so brain dead. That's why I don't. That's why I don't like. That's the exact reason why I don't like um Zhang Li. I don't like Nuvulet, and I don't like um Ayato because they're they're all brain dead. Like, don't get me wrong. Nuvulet is hundred percent stronger than Tartag, but because of the way because of Tartag's playstyle, you have to watch his skill. It's just it's Tartag is just more fun to use. At least in my opinion. Obviously, if you want Nuvulet, get him. Like, obviously, if you want Nuvulet, get him. That is just, that's not me trying to deter you. If you want Nuvulet, get him. But in my opinion, I prefer Tartag over all the other ones because he's more fun. Not quite. Aren't we missing someone? But Paimon has a guess where he might be. Hey, Taxi! Wow, he actually showed up. <laughs> and he actually has weapons. Okay. My man is strapped. Oh, Taxi's got himself a sword and a shield now. He's looking sharp. Indeed. With his weapons in hand, Thalxi looks more formidable than ever. You've really outdone yourself, Remine. We helped you. Yes. You really had a good eye for materials. Everything you found was high quality. Speaking of which, Zuria just told me that she wants to end the adventure with the coronation ceremony. So, uh, could I also trouble you with finding some materials for the crown? You can just keep an eye out for them on our way to the ruins. I was planning to collect the materials myself, but then I realized you might be able to find some prettier ones than what I could get my hands on. Your sure thing, Fremide. Everything's ready to go. Shall we head out? Please wait a moment. I was just thinking, since Thalxi has already shown us his brand new appearance, we may already be able to draw a new page in the picture book. What do you think? Yeah, the game, the game really, the game really kicked you in the nuts with that. You got Dea instead of Hu Tao, like, oh, I'm only building Dea because I have so many other five stars that are built. I'm building her because I think it'll be very interesting to use her. 
that's the only reason why I'm building Dea. She is 100% the worst five star in the entire game. She's worse than a lot of the four stars, I'll be honest. Like, but yeah, yeah. <laughs> there's no, there's no if, ands, or buts about it. You got screwed over there when you lost that 50-50. the story we know as a reference just make the atmosphere a bit less grim so we'll take out the sad parts and replace them with happier stuff sounds great to Paimon well, I'll tell you what don't sleep on D-Luke he's still pretty good he, obviously he's not Hu Tao but don't sleep on D-Luke he's still, he's still pretty decent alright I'll give it a try I'm not very adept at drawing but I've seen a lot of art during my work now, as far as the actual content of the drawing, please tell me what you'd like to see. Let me think. We can draw the weapon. The prince has picked up the Sword of Courage and the Shield of Perseverance, which proves he has crossed the mire of doubt and now is ready to wage war against the darkness. Okay, I'll add the weapons. Anything else? Paimo wants to give him some friends. Foxy's got some friends by his side now, so he's no longer fighting alone! Okay, I'll also draw some companions. Anything else? Okay, I guess add some color. Color. Ah, oh, color, yes! That's really important. The road in front of him now will no longer be just grayscale, but bursting with color and hope. Who would have thought the page could have become so inspiring? How wonderful! Splendid ideas, everyone! Great! Everyone looks super pumped up! Felsy, most of all! Are you seeing this, my son? Are you feeling inspired by this as well? Uh, wait, hold up. She just said, my son. Where's, his, where's her son? I'm sure he is, Zuria. And this is still just the first page. That's right! Paimon can't wait to see the picture book when it's all finished! We should finish it as soon as possible and keep up the belief and hope in our hearts. Mm hmm I'm starting to look forward to it as well. So let's get the show on the road and head towards the Kingdom of Water Imps. Yay! Felsi's fantastic adventures begin now! Alright. The Prince's Country. Here we are at the shore above the water Kingdom of Water Imps. We're actually going to this place? This place actually exists? Okay. Well, let's go! I, have, I need to build Yonfei. I haven't built her because I have like... I haven't built Yonfei because I have like I already have like three pyro DPS. I have bro, I have I have Yoi Mia, Hu Tao, and Shang Ling. Like that's the biggest reason why I haven't built Yonfei, because I already have three different crazy pyro characters. But I do want to build her. But I just want to build other things first before her. These should be enough. I knew you'd have a knack for finding the best materials. We shouldn't need anything else to head to the Kingdom of Water Imps. In two attacks? How the fuck? I do this in two attacks. All right, never mind. Wow. Is that the entrance to the underwater ruins ahead? Assaulting the water imp kingdom. All right, let's go. As a matter of fact, let me. I'm gonna use Kaching. I'm gonna show you why I like using Kaching. So we're gonna use Kaching, and we're not. No, we're not even gonna use Nahida. Reese Kaching, Dendro Traveler. Uh Ching Dendro Traveler, and then we're gonna use 
Xingqiu and Kuki. These are the underwater ruins that Premine found. They're pretty amazing, but still not exactly the kind that Paimon was imagining. Oh, yeah, Paimon knows. It's just. <sighs> Paimon thought we'd actually see a fairy tale world. Like with the water imp's colorful houses and the rainbow bridge. I'm sorry. I was hoping to put up some decorations, but ran out of time to do it by myself. You, you want to decorate this whole place? How would you even decorate it? Whoa, someone's already switched into fantasy mode. Seems like the travelers already got the gist of things. You should do your best too, Paimon. Uh, don't underestimate Paimon! Paimon can flip the switch too! Now entering... Ahem. Young adventurers, tis Paimon, guardian goddess of this land. State your goals and intentions for visiting this nation. What the fuck is this voice? <laughs> Even Fremde is like, what the fuck are you doing? We are the companions of Prince Thalxi, your divine highness. We have come to help him reclaim the glory that he has lost. Oh, reclaiming your glory? Thy goddess here has golden glory, silver glory, and bronze glory. Which is it that the prince has lost? What, uh, golden, silver, what? <laughs> huh? See, I'm not the only one that's confused. You break character. Not at all! This is the goddess's test! <clears throat> From your responses, the goddess has concluded that you're all brave adventurers without the taint of greed in your hearts. As such, you are worthy of everyone's respect. <laughs> you're wrong. I think you're getting way too into this Paimon. Please Bible. accept the goddess's reward. The goddess will send us for this prince. The goddess will also bestow upon you the rainbow glory. So your future will always be filled with light. My gratitude to your Divine Highness for such generous blessings. Power is now surging through every part of my body. Bro, the Genshin just straight up become fucking... <laughs> a fantasy anime. Uh, me... Me too. Is this the Divine Inspiration of Legend? Oh uh, yes, all thanks to the power of Goddess Paimon. Adventurers, forge bravely ahead and defeat the monsters that have taken over the kingdom. You will be sure to find that which you seek. Use Prince Thalxi's water imp chance to defeat opponents more easily. After using the skill, Thalxi must charge up before using it again. Please be careful, brave adventurers. Just ahead. Oh, okay. Fremenay. Let me use, use Fremenay. <laughs> I didn't even realize I had Fremenay. I was gonna, I would have used them. I didn't realize I had Fremenay. Yes, 
It should now be time for us to attend Thuxi's coronation ceremony. The only thing is, I didn't expect this to go so smoothly. I thought it would have taken longer for us to reach the heart of the ruins. It was my mistake. I should have told Fremenay earlier that we would also need a crown. It's all because the Traveler and Goddess Paimon were too strong! We just eradicated all the monsters in one go! Uh, yeah, it's all thanks to you, Goddess Paimon. I'm sure you did so much. It's okay, Zuria. We can come back again once I've made the crown. Then I must thank all of you again for taking the time. And you too, Thuxi, my child. My, my child? Am I missing something here? Is she? Does she actually think Thelxie's her son? Thelxie's turning out to be a real expert at fighting. Because I thought Thelxie was just a robot that Fremine made. Like I'm actually kind of confused right now. I don't think there's anything that will be able to stop him. He's like a true prince now. Oh, we're playing the part that Thelxie is her son. Is that is that what's going on right now? Yes, I agree as well. Let's head back to camp for now. I asked the traveler to search for some materials on the way because I want to make the crown as soon as possible. We can add an update to Thelxie's fantastic adventures as well. Now that we've reclaimed the kingdom of water imps, it's time for us to... Zuria and Fremenay, why don't we draw the new pages first? Paimon really wants to update the picture book. Hey, you didn't have to say it out loud. <laughs> no problem. I'm happy to oblige. Then in that case, the story today should go something like this. After overcoming many obstacles, Prince Thelxi and his brave companions finally arrived at the e At this time, the little fairy in the group, Paimon, revealed her true goddess form to her companions. Woohoo! The goddess has arrived! She praised the companions for their purity, and to reward them, she bestowed upon them many blessings, and even prayed that the prince would be able to fulfill his goal. I'm just taking it in the picture. I was like, this picture reminds me of some something I saw, of like some movie I saw, but it's not clicking in my head. All right, we're going to keep going. Bathed under the goddess's glory, the prince and his companions charged into the bastion of evil, chased away the monsters, and rescued the... Oh no, the crown isn't ready yet! No. The crown was within the prince's reach, but the monsters took it with them as they fled. They haven't given up, and are sure to return, but the prince is certain to reclaim the crown the next time they fight. The brilliant rainbow shall descend onto the kingdom once more. Oh, and Paimon can almost see it all happening now! Whoa, the pages are beautiful! Surya's really talented at drawing! Thank you, everyone. We've also completed the second page of the picture book now. Thelxie's journey is one step closer to its end, and the promised coronation. My child, you'll also be able to brighten up when that time comes, right? I'm sure he will, Zuria. Who knows? Perhaps the doctor will already have some good news for you when you get back home today. I sure hope so, your Divine Highness. Oh, Fremine, about the time you'll need for the crown. Please don't worry. One day should be more than enough. Ah, then I must thank you for your hard work. All right, let's rendezvous here in another two days' time for our final adventure, okay? Okay. And see you in two days, my lovely friends. I'm really starting to think she's the one with loneliness syndrome. All right, it's about time we start heading off too. You've still got some work to do, right, Fremenay? Yeah, 
I will need to go to the city shortly to get some parts for the base of the crown. I want to try out a few different designs and choose the one that looks the best. Yeah, Paimon knew that you didn't often take commissions from others, but Paimon had no idea you'd be so dedicated once you're on the job. Ah, uh, well, about that, it might be because... Because? Because what? It's because... I hope... But what are you blushing, bro? Remedy. Do you want a thing for Zuria? Uh, what's the matter? And what's with that look on your face? You're turning red, and it looks like you're about to run away and put your helmet on again. Uh, am I turning red? <laughs> Don't tease. Hey, bro, hey, hey, hey. Yo, is Fremde trying to get some guap guap from Missouri? <laughs> What's going on here? <laughs> okay, thank you. I hope that everyone who's found themselves in a dark place would be able to see something beautiful. And experience a miracle for themselves. All right. Well, I was way off. Why the fuck was he blush? What's? Why is he blushing over that? I was way off. Hey, I'll I'll do that in a second. Bouncy? Yes, we're just waiting for Zuria now. She hasn't arrived yet. Then let's wait for her a little while. Or actually, maybe we can go find her. It's not too far from here anyway. Didn't she say she just lives on the hill over there? Hey, traveler, Paimon. Who? Speaking of. Oh, that's you. <laughs> I completely forgot about you. I'm so glad that you both are all right. Huh? Why are you here, Miss Delaroche? And what could have happened to us? What could have happened? That water imp Thelxy, of course. After I gave you that commission the other day, I began to get worried and went asking about the boy that went missing. Oh, that? We've got it all figured out now. The boy you heard about was just Framine. Even the missing fish was his fault. Don't worry, we'll help you get the fish back as soon as we're done with this job. Oh. Sorry about that. I've been diving in the area recently. Huh? What, Fremine? Diving? No, no, no. That's not what happened at all. I've heard a completely different account. What I was told is that about a month ago, a child tied a bunch of heavy seashells onto his body and walked into this open stretch of water. He never came back. What could that be if not that water imp's work? Ah. Well, that took a turn. Uh -huh. Okay. Um, I think my previous theory was right. I think I think that child was Zuria's son, and she's experiencing loneliness syndrome. Uh, are, are you sure? Well, 
100% sure. I've confirmed the account with several veteran fishermen I know. The child was only eight years old. His name oh, is uh -huh. Let's go to Stray. Uh-huh. There you go. Let's go to Stray. Wait. Let's go to Stray? Yeah, that's the name. They say the family took on the name after moving to the city from a place called Stray. Anyway, his mother is a pretty famous art dealer, while his father passed away from an accident many years ago. Oh, well, naturally, his mother was devastated by the incident and fell terribly ill. It's said that she left the court of Fontaine, and no one knows where she's gone. Bro, we just saw her like two days ago. Be, right? Let's go Destre? Zuria Destre? It, it, it must be some sort of a coincidence? I'm sorry, miss. We've got to go check on something right now. Oh, I see. Well, you go on ahead. I just came to make sure that you're both all right. I'll head back then. Uh, please remember to take care. That took a turn. But it's, it seems I'm writing the script for this event because I, I called it from the beginning. All right, looks like we're gonna beat up a few people first. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm glad that you didn't. I'm still just surprised because I'm just saying that took a turn. I'm not blaming you. Oh, <laughs> like I'm not blaming you. I'm just saying that took a turn. <laughs> here who needs quiet bed rest please leave us be unless you have anything urgent to report patient this is the residence of zuria destry and i'm jala khan her family doctor what did you mean by your question just now who else could be my patient, your patient so yes yeah, so i was right so she's the one with loneliness syndrome No, you're right. Young Master Lesko did have that illness once upon a time, but he's... Well, the young master's no longer with us. And now, the Madame has come down with the same illness. Are you... her friends, by any chance? Oh! So her son had loneliness syndrome, and he... Uh, offed himself. Based on what the lady said. And... damn. And now she's no, she's she's in depression. Which fair enough. She, she basically lost her whole family. So goddamn. Oh, so when she had requested time to go out over the past few days, it was so she could spend them with you. So if I'm understanding this right, the one who's suffering from uncontrollable delusions is the madame herself? She believes her son is still alive? That is correct. When the young master disappeared, she was organizing an art exhibit that she had specifically prepared for him. But since she had to leave the house, she was unable to see her son one last time. That might have been the trigger for her regret. Or perhaps the family's fall into loneliness and grief was inevitable as soon as the old master passed away. First the son, and then the mother. But how could that be? She really looked like she had a handle on everything. Her smile was so lovely and 
And she even told us to stay optimistic. But you're saying she... Those actions are proof that she can no longer differentiate between fantasy and reality. Then all the other things that she told us about her son, were those fake too? No, those were all real. Although they were all things that happened before the young master left us for good. Madame's time has just never moved forward since his passing. I see. So after her son left, she created a fantasy world where her son was still with her. She was looking for a way to cure his illness when she ran into us. Oh, fuck. She has been in a good mood the past few days, even humming a song when she returned from her stroll. She even began discussing with me the idea of using deliberate guidance to ease the illness. It was all going well until last night. Then she what happened last night? night staring at the shell the young master left behind and the words that he had inscribed onto it. Then she broke down once more. I prescribed some sedatives and she's currently resting. Don't panic, Paimon. Even though this is a devastating piece of news, we must all calm down first. What should we do? I need to think. I need to remember the old house of the hearth and the children who lived in it. Those patients and what their doctors said back then. Hmm. Ah! What if... Dr. Jalakon, have you seen a picture book? The Madame should have brought it back with her. Hmm. Are you thinking about trying the guidance therapy she talked to me about before? Well, it's worth a shot. I'll go get the book. Yes, this is it. You say it's the fantasy adventure of the That's picture right. book. If what Dr. Jalacan said was true, the past few days have been very helpful to Zuria. So we should complete this journey. We need to show her that her child has found a happy ending in the world of her dreams. But... but wouldn't that just make it harder for her to accept reality? One must first face reality before accepting it. The Madame has been crushed by her feelings of grief and can no longer bring herself to face reality. Our first priority would be to get her out of this state. Right. Before today, I had thought she wanted to use Thelxi's fantastic adventures to save her son. But now, I think she might need it to save herself. And if we could complete it, we should be able to give her some feeling of inspiration and closure. Maybe those feelings would be enough to give her some courage to face reality again. You know, one thing I've noticed about Genshin, about how Hoiver she's Genshin, is that Hoiver isn't afraid to kill off characters, but they never kill off any of the playable characters. Like, I've just noticed that. Like, they've killed off, like, like what? Okay, so like, like three of the Archons, they killed off Raiden Makoto, they killed off um, Ruka Devada, and then they killed off Fosalor. They killed off Signora. They, they're not afraid to kill off characters, but they just don't do it to any of the playable characters. And, uh, NPCs as well. They kill off a bunch of NPCs. Fucking Tepe. Um, I'm surprised they didn't kill off... Um, what was her name from Sumeru? Dunyazard. But they made us feel for Dunyazard. Like, they kill off characters, just not any of the playable ones, which I don't get. I feel like killing off any of the playable characters would just hit so much harder. Especially after what they did with Fosalor. Considering how literally Fosalor came at the 11th hour and we all still felt sad for her. So I really like... Imagine they killed off... Um, like Let's just say they killed off... Uh, 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 Eula. Imagine they killed off Eula. That'd be that'd be fucking depressing. There's no time to waste. 
Let's set off right away. Like that would hit that would hit really hard. And then it would make sense why she never gets a fucking rerun. Cause she's fucking dead. All right, back to the kingdom. Don't be so down and gloomy. Remember what she told us? If we were to feel troubled, the patient would become anxious as well. <sighs> You're right. Paimon needs to smile. If we have to give something to Zuria, it should be our smiles. We have to keep smiling as we finish this adventure. And then she'll be able to recover, right everyone? Yeah, hopefully. Yeah, I'm sure she will. Bro, imagine she just offs herself at the end of this quest, too. Wow, for everyday sucks. I'm sorry. I have to go. I made a promise to my friends, and I'm already very late. But, Madame, you're still... Don't try to stop me. Today's the most important day for treating Thelpsy. We'll use the guidance method. Didn't you also say that you'd think it'd work? I'm not trying to stop you, Madame. It's just... <sighs> Could you tell me the name of your child? Dr. Jalakon... How can you forget the name of your own patient? His name is Thalxi. He's the prince of the Kingdom of Water Imps. We will go today to reclaim his crown and attend his coronation ceremony. Wow, oh, she really thinks... So I wasn't crazy when she called Thalxi her child. I was like, wait, why are you calling Thalxi her child? I was, so, I was so confused. So I wasn't right. I wasn't crazy. I see. Madame... Please rest assured, everything is still on- Zuria! Zuria! We've retrieved the crown! Oh, Paimon! Everyone! 
Have you really? Yes, but the coronation ceremony still hasn't taken place. Because we felt like you should be the one to preside over it. Wonderful. How wonderful. Elksy, my child. My child, are you hearing this? Everything... And the last page of the picture book. It's still waiting for you to illustrate in color. Right. It's so the hard. Book, the picture book. But I don't know what I should put on the last page. It's so hard looking at her call Elksy her child. Is she gonna Oh, is she gonna keep it? And then like it's gonna start call Oh, that's gonna be oh if that happens, that's gonna be so if I think of what's gonna happen, that's gonna be so sad. Okay, okay. Oh, she's <laughs> thought she got a heart attack. At last, Elksy and his friends were able to drive off the final invading monsters and achieve a dashing victory. Their success was complete, and the recovered crown resplendent. The water imps, finally returning to their homes, showered the prince with love and applause as he greeted them. <laughs> They once again offered their precious shells to the prince and reconstructed the rainbow bridge of old. As he watched the scene unfold, the prince could not help but be touched by its beauty. Moved by everyone's happiness, the prince stepped onto the rainbow bridge and took a good look at all the friends who had gone on the journey with him. There stood the traveler, Goddess Paimon, Fremine. Goddess Paimon. Huh? Where's the last person? The prince looked frantically around, but could not find the person he wanted to see most. At that moment, the person suddenly appeared on the other side of the bridge. She walked towards him with a smile and slowly lifted her veil. The prince could not hold back his tears. He recognized then that the mysterious person that had been by his side the whole time was none other than his mother. Surya walked across the bridge and placed the crown above the prince's head. She smiled down upon him as she said, My prince, my king, you shall never ever need to feel lonely again. That's the end of the story, Surya. Thank you. Thank you all. I am so sorry, my child. Mamal should have spent more time with you. Did you hear the story? You'll never have to feel lonely again. That is so sad. <laughs> Mamal loves you too. What's happening? Is Zuria talking to Thelxy? I think she's talking to her son in her mind, and Thelxy's just there as a placeholder. Quick, put on my diving helmet. There's a transcription module in it that's compatible with Thelxy's output signals. You should be able to use it to understand what Thelxy's saying. I love, huh? Mama, Mama loves you too. But I love you more, Mama. What is? Hold on. What? Did you see something? Mama, I'm getting a little sleepy. If it's time for bed, can you hum a lullaby to me again? Is that why she was humming? Oh. Of course, my dearest child. As long as you want to hear it, Mama will always hum for you. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Mama. I didn't want to hear the humming. I'll be honest. <laughs> my favorite. Now that I've heard it, I can return to my dream and to the kingdom of water imps in peace. <sighs> My poor darling. Please don't forget. I will always love you. 
my love is greater than the entire distance between here and the kingdom of water imps. I won't forget, Mamon. And so is my love for you. Greater than the entire distance between here and the kingdom of water imps. Good night, Mamon. That is so depressing. That's so sad. This is just a random limited time event. Actually, no, no. Most limited time events are pretty... They do, they do pretty good things for limited time events. Not all the time. But yeah, it's a, damn, man. This is just a random limited time event that I thought I was just going to skip. And then just do the, do get my Freemo gems. Wow, that hit. Traveler, Paimon. You're here. Afremide, why did you call us in such a hurry? Did you hear something from Zuria? Oh, if it's not good news, Paimon doesn't want to hear it. Really? You prefer they took away Freena instead of Bosalor? After watching... Bro. After watching her suffer for 500 years, losing her mind playing a character that she didn't want to play? Come on. Like, overall, I felt sad for Postalor, but like, you know, you didn't feel anything for Farina after watching her, um, after watching her suffer for, the, for those 500 years? Like, don't be wrong, Postalor hit. Postalor definitely hit. But it's like, in a way, Fosslor is still alive because of Farina. Yeah, no, she did. But I think you're also forgetting the 500 years that Farina had to like play a role. While the while the national tragedy is looming over her head and she's like losing her mind trying to like figure out how to solve it because Postlord never even told her how to solve it. Don't worry. Like it's definitely great news. The Madame came here like for I also thought that Farina, Farina is the human Fosslor always wanted to be. Full of energy as well. Now Farina wasn't made for that role. Farina is the human that Fosslor wanted to be. She so she used Farina as a way to deceive the Heavenly Principles. Her entire wish was Farina to stay alive, because Farina is the human that Fosslor wanted to be. She said she'd like to return to the court to continue hosting the art exhibit. But this time, she'll work with her doctor to exhibit some picture books related to the illness. Okay, hold on, wait, let me, let me take it back. Frina was made for that role. But the intention was for Frina to live past the events. Of course, Thelxie's fantastic adventures and the guidance therapy will be included in the exhibit as well. She'd like to use her experience to help others. Oh, that's good of her. Oh, wonderful! <sighs> so it wasn't bad news after all. Mm-hmm. Here, please take this picture book with you. The Madame wanted you to have it. If, at some point in the future, you were to run into someone with similar troubles, she hopes the book would be of use to you. Uh, but this is her son's story, right? Is it really okay to give the book to us? I'll be real. One thing I was wrong about her prediction was I actually thought she was gonna, you know, like, I thought she was gonna, like, off herself. I actually thought they would do something like that. But, no. This is a better, this is a better, happier ending. Don't worry. It's just a copy. She still has the original. It's extremely important to her. All right, then there's no problem. <sighs> it feels good knowing we've contributed to something important. Paimon definitely didn't expect the fantasy adventure to be so useful. 
Prima was a little worried about how everything would turn out. After all, fantasy is just fantasy. Yeah, the first impression, Freena didn't have a good impression on a lot of people. But th the point is that that actually wasn't her. That was literally her acting a role. Like Farina, the Farina that you don't that you don't like isn't Farina. That was her playing a role to deceive the Heavenly Principles. That was the whole that was the whole point of her character. That, like it, like she, think of it this way: she debated the entire community into hating her because she was acting a role. Like the Farina that that you the, the Farina that the first impression Farina that you don't like was not Farina. That was a fake. She was acting. Paimon, do you know what the madame said? She said that at the moment when she placed the crown on like, Pixie's head, like, hey, hey, hey. Like I'm really not trying to like convince you to change how you feel. How you feel? How you, how you feel is how you feel. If you truly, told her that he if you prefer her. first lore for Farina, hey, that's cool. That's all you. I just think it makes more sense for Farina to live because Farina is who first lore wanted to be. That's just because it, it, so to me, it makes sense in that way, because Freena is who Fosler wanted to be. So it makes more sense in my head for Freena to be alive. She also said that was when she was finally able to bid farewell to her son. She felt like at that moment she was healed by some mystical power and she was filled with courage from head to toe. Oh, really? But could that just be another part of her fantasy? Perhaps, but if fantasy is just fantasy, and the fantasy world is not real, then how could it still grant us these powers that we can continue to use in the real world? So perhaps fantasy is not just fantasy. Uh, no, I would still say fantasy is fantasy. Like, uh... but, but what else could it be? A descent of the fairy tale world into the real world. At that time. The wondrous fairy tale temporarily became reality and influenced real things in our world. That has to be what happened. You saw it too, didn't you? But that can't be what happened, right? There's just no way. Wouldn't it be like a miracle if that really happened? Yes, I suppose that would be a miracle. I hope that everyone who's found themselves in a dark place would be able to see something beautiful and experience a miracle for themselves. Hey, you said the thing, Fremenet. Good job. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm not denying whatsoever that what Fosa went through was sad. Like, she lived for 500 years knowing, expecting to die. Right? Knowing that she was going to sacrifice herself. But at the end of the day, she wasn't... Her mental state wasn't as bad as Farina's. Because you have to... Like... Because if you really think about it, all of us... Are, all of us are expected to die. All of us are waiting to die at some point. This is, get, this is taking a very weird turn. This conversation is taking a very weird turn. But if you really think about it, everybody is going to die at some point. We're all living to die. Right? We're all living to die. Farina, I, with that, with false lore, at least she could live, kind of in a sense, where her mind was intact. Farina, in her entire existence, could not be herself. She could not live for herself. She could not be herself. Her entire existence was fake. The 500 years was fake. She could not... And, it, and keep in mind that Farina is also human. She's a human mind. False lore is a god, which means her mental fortitude is a lot stronger than Farina's. Rina is just a human with a human mind. The fact that she didn't do? lose her mind in those 500 years, that she just didn't go batshit crazy in those 500 years, playing the role of somebody else, it's amazing. <laughs> it's the reason why even, like here, like I'm sure you've heard the, um, the voice lines from like, um, from the other Archons about Farina. Right here.
For five centuries, I dueled the Raiden Shogun in my personal realm of consciousness to confirm the steadfastness of my will. <laughs> Yet this Farina you speak of, though possessing only a frail human body, committed herself to acting out her part every second of every day for 500 years. A true battle of the spirit. Her willpower has indeed reached the level of a god. All right. Yeah, okay, you make a point. Everybody has their preferences. We'll agree to disagree. Like, I'm not shitting on you for, like, don't don't take it the wrong way. I'm not shitting on you for preferring Frozenor. Like, everybody has their preferences. I'm just saying why I think it's makes more sense to me why Farina is alive and Froslore, you know, had to sacrifice herself. I'm just saying why I think that's it. Hey, everybody has their preferences. All right, while we're here, and we have, um... My, I'm just gonna do these challenges real quick. I'm just gonna do the combat challenges real quick, because uh, Get those free mail gems, and I'll do the puzzles another time. Big baddie score. <laughs> Big baddie. <laughs> that's, that's a multiplier. All right, we're going to use Super Bloom. Okay, I'd rather... No, I'm... Uh, hmm. What sword does... Thing have? Oh, she does not have one of her artifacts. Ready to go. Why does she not have one of her artifacts? That's odd. Did I? Did I accidentally throw? Did I accidentally throw away one of her artifacts? Why does she not have an artifact? <laughs> Wait, did I fuck up? Why does she not have one of her artifacts? <laughs> Wait a minute. Hold up. What did I do? <laughs> I, I think I accidentally funneled one of her artifacts. Wow, that's a that's an oopsie whoopsie on my part. All right. <laughs> Oh, I could I could have farmed this today. All right, all right, whatever. All right, well, given that my I right, still have forty seven k HP, so I think it's fine. But goddamn, right, I'll just I'll just give her this one. Oh yeah, yeah, that's fair. One thing I will say though, I think Frina is my favorite quote unquote Archon of all the Archons, purely because of her personality. Like, don't be wrong. I think um like Raiden Shogun, Zhang Li, even Venti to some kind of degree. I think all their storylines are really good, really fascinating. I think I think um Raiden Shogun storyline is, in my opinion, the best in terms of like how how she, her her depth as a character. But I think Frina is my favorite quote unquote Archon out of them all because of her personality. Frina is the, has the most outgoing and rambunctious potion personality of any of the any of the Genshin characters, in my opinion. Relaxing days like this are nice. Let's take it. Again. Like she looks like she genuinely she, she looks like she genuinely has fun with her life. 
Raz, well, Zhang Li is just drinking tea. Venti's always drunk, and then let's be real. Ryan Jogan has kind of a boring personality. She's cool, love her storyline, but in my opinion, she kind of has a boring personality. Oh yeah, yeah, that's why I said quote unquote, like, like quote unquote Archon, like she's, even though she's not an actual Archon, she was portrayed as our Hydro Archon, like quote unquote, like she, she's quote unquote the Archon, right? That's why they made her so broken. <laughs> Another test subject. Huh. Try. Share my knowledge. <laughs> you can't run. I think I could have got more, but I don't really care about that. But I love Nilu. I pulled for her. I only pulled for her. I, well, I pulled for her knowing that she'd be very um niche, but goddamn, she kills it at her niche. I love I love uh Nilu. Anyways, uh, I'd rather use my riding Shogun. Thank you very much. Uh, elements of burst cooldown decreased by 40%. Oh, hell yeah. Alright, we're going burst riding. Let's go. You know what? I should probably switch. I should probably switch Farina's thing to this. So that way she doesn't pop Mona's alt. Okay, 122. Let's go. Time to shine. Time to shine. Decided by destiny. Torn 
to oblivion. Delve into destiny. I'm going in. Fate is upon me. Shower me with praise. Let the world come out. Shine down. Now you shall perish. Oh, 67, that's a way more than last time. Oh, yeah. Need let. Prince Whirlwinds. And carry the blah, blah, blah. Cool. I'm going to use. You know what? We're off the script. We're gonna use Tartag thing. We're gonna use. Oh, I should probably. Yeah. So yeah, I didn't realize. I completely forgot that. I think I wasted one of Nilu's timepieces. So I need Yale to have her timepiece back. Yeah, that's one of the best things about Ryan Shogun. If you have Ryan Shogun on your team, you do not have to worry about energy recharge because she is your energy recharge. Oh, I didn't know that's what he did. I was waiting for a splash of damage. That was bad. <laughs> I should try that again. That was bad. All right, I'll use newbie list. I should just wonder. Let's go with wonder, arena. Uh, wonder arena. Uh, Layla, and then at it. Yeah, okay, I'll use Nivulet. I'll use Nivulet. Who 
what, what what's a good team for Nuvulet? I actually don't know. What would be a good team for Nuvulet? No, fuck it. We're just going to use him. <laughs> I still don't get why he yells like that. Like, why does he yell like that? <laughs> Fucking draw! Fucking mmm! My bad, this fucking. This is for a guy that's supposed to be so quiet, it's just really weird that he just screams like that. Oh god, I got knocked out of the air. <laughs> Come on, Evil Let. What was that? <laughs> I did about the same. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, okay, yeah. let's try a bloom team with him. Uh, yeah. Now we'll, we'll try a blue team with him. Did you die, sir? Thank you. Alright, well, this is definitely working a lot better. <laughs> What's going on? Why did you let me knocked around? That was better, but uh... 
You got 11 k points. Am I just shit at this? Is that what's going on? Hey, am I just shit at this? Is that what's going on? Not see now that now that you said you got 11k now now I have to now I have to beat it. All right, so you got 11k. Who can I use? Okay, I'm thinking hyper bloom instead of just bloom. So I'm gonna go new violet. We're gonna go arena thing and then thing there. We're gonna go hyper bloom. Okay, I did better that time. 7,500. 7, so I have the right idea. Maybe I should use different uh, characters. Okay, anyway, what if instead of Nahida...
I guess I could try Burgeon with Bennett. Hmm. No, it's not close enough. We're gonna get it. We're gonna get to 10k. <laughs> We're gonna get to 10k. You challenge me, bro. You bet, bet. All right, now I gotta hit. Now I gotta hit 10k. But I'm gonna think about this. I'm gonna think about this, and we're gonna hit 10k. We're gonna go. New let. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. New Violet's Farina. You know what? We're going to go New Violet, Farina, Xiongling, and then... Kazuha? Should I go Kazuha or should I go... You let Scaramouche, Bennett, Kazu. That's just, that seems like a weird team, Coke, because it's two it's two DPSs. It's weird. No, no, I'm gonna get this with my own team. Don't worry. I know you didn't challenge. I challenged myself, but we're gonna. I'm gonna do this. All right. Yeah. All right. We're gonna go. Yeah, we're gonna go with this. No, not Kazuha. We're gonna go with. Yeah, we're gonna go with that. For major off field. If I could just keep Miko alive, then we're good. Right now, right here. Make yourself a move. That's all we want. Feeling lucky today. Lightning, echoing song. Settle down. Let the mighty be humble. That's close enough. Right now, right here. Share my knowledge. Strike a pose. Time to shine. That's all we want. The tide's beckoning. Emerge, right now. Grow, grow, grow. Nothing lasts forever. Rocky today. That's close enough. Okay, you really? I thought there was like a time that I've I've never used Nivulet. I don't use Nivulet. So I actually don't know fully well how he works. Alright, I'm gonna try I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try another team though. 
All right, I'm gonna go Scarmouche. I'm gonna use my Scarmouche. Actually, no, I don't think my Scarmouche is that good. So I'll use this one. I'm gonna use Scarmouche. We're gonna Scarmouche. Zuzu. Uh, Farina. Bennett. All right, this was a goodie there. I think New Let's I think New Let's the way to stay. I will hit 10k, or eventually I'll just give up and not try anymore. All right. All right, we're gonna go. I do think New Let Farina is the way to go, so we're gonna get New Let Farina, and then we'll do Kazuha, and then we'll go bet it. Get closer. Nature. 
Seventeen. All right. Because I want to. I want to get everybody's uh, buffs up. I want to get. For one, make sure Farina's buff is up. I want to make sure. Uh, I have everyone grouped up with Kazu at his buff. But if the way to go is just keep using his charge attack, then I'll, I'll, then all right, I'll keep using his charge attack. Where the fuck? That's close enough. New time to shine. Uh -huh. Everybody stand back. Settle down. Your coming was for toes. Fallen leaves. Ready? Okay, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I guess it's just I guess I'm just not using using Nivula properly. Oh my god, again? <laughs> Alright, I guess I'll use Nivula for this one. Uh, for 18 seconds after only character to have max HP and 20% less damage. So I need Kaza for this one because they're not gonna be able to group up. Another test subject. As one with wind and cloud. Let the world come on. Go in. Be sanctified. Let 
to the wind. Cloud time. The birds come. Shower me with this. Sight and oversight on be sanctified. <laughs> Another test subject. <clears throat> Bow your head. Let the world come You do. Wind strike. I'm going in. Let the mighty be humble. Oh, hey, I got 10k there. So that wasn't difficult, so I got 10k there. Uh, ooh, I'm sure I'm sure use Risley for this one. All right, we're gonna use Risley. I'm just gonna use my my Aka team for this one. <laughs> Bro, you told me you got 11k. I'm, I'm starting to think it was on this one, not this one. Cause I got 10k on this one very easily. This is this one. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm pretty sure you probably thought. Cause I was doing this one. The one I was having a hard time was this one. I think you mistook this one for this one. Cause this was this. I got 10k very easily. This one is probably this is probably the one you got uh, 11k on. This one I was like having a hard time. Ah, Fremo gems. Give me the Fremo gems. Uh, 
Uh, serendipitous dreams. And Fremenate. Fremenate! <laughs> Fremenate isn't really that good. Be a mysterious companion. All right, all right, no, no, we're gonna try your team. It was this Nuvulet, Scaramouche, Kazuha, Bennett. All right, I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try it. I'll do this one. Nuvulet, Scaramouche, Kazuha, Bennett. And I'm assuming you use, I'm assuming you use Scaramouche as um just burst, yeah? But I feel like it's the only way you could use him in this. Um, so Scaramouche is just purely only for burst. Uh, so how would I start this? All right, we'll go. Bam! I meant to switch the. God damn it! Wrong, wrong, one, wrong person. As one with wind and cloud. Everybody stand back. Let's settle down. Where are you the tides beckon. Where the eternal oasis is burning. Blue as the flowers in a gorabarn. How do you how do you do this with this team? Cause I, I actually like trying to figure out what rotation I should use. suck I think I just suck honestly I think I just suck I have yet to go there, actually. But no, that's for another time. Alright. Let's say we just take care of the spiral abyss real quick and I'm gonna, I'm gonna end it there. Ah, no problem, man. You get some sleep. Take it easy, my guy. I appreciate you for coming in. Abyssosk. Thank you for comp Ad Astra. Toodaloo. Ad Astra.